Want to add sound effect to your LumaFusion project? In this tutorial, I'll show you how. Let's go. First off, right, where do you get your sound effect from? There's a few free ways I know. One is uh, go to YouTube library, studio, I mean, and you can get it from there. Go scroll down to the studio music library, and there's a you can search for sound effect as well. Basically, basically it's royalty free, and you, and you can use it in your YouTube video, no problem at all. Uh, the second way is basically you are the one that creating your own sound effect library. Right now, I have the Zoom H1, the original one, uh, got years ago, got it years ago. And basically with this, right, you can collect sounds in uh, uncompressed format, like wave form, and it sounds really good. Basically, just go to any spot you want to collect a quick sound, uh, effect like say for, for example a bell a door whatever you have so a bird trimming out, out somewhere doesn't matter which one but this, with the zoom h1 you can collect it really fast because it has the uh, input here the uh, microphone input in here stereo microphone input but you can also plug in any microphone TRS microphone anyone any phone that can microphone that can collect connect to your camera, it can also connect it to the Zoom H1. You, you can actually do a lot with, with sound collection. So right now in my collection right now, I have around like 40 sounds. I just go around randomly around the house and collect like yesterday, last night, early morning. And I have the bird trimming, uh, USB-C, but tapping on a kiss of guitar, uh, Stanley knife, uh, yeah, plastic bu bu bubble wrap. So anything you want, anything around the house, that could be your sound effect. Okay, so that doesn't have to be dramatic. <laughs> but you build up your own collection over time, and you be, be you be amazed at how much things you can collect over the, over the years. Uh, right now, I'm just starting to build up my collection because I now making more YouTube videos. Uh, but I have the H1, Zoom H1 for a long time. I do, when I do a project, when I go out to shoot, I have my Zoom H1 with me, either as a environmental uh, surrounding kind of like capture device. So, sound, sound kind of uh, atmosphere kind of sound, I collect that as well. And I go, go back home and I mix it. Before that was wasn't uh, you know, Luma Fusion, okay? It was the Premiere Pro. That's what I use. That's two ways. The other way is Story Block. So I'll fire it up uh, Luma Fusion now and go up here. Always follow my finger. Go up here on top here, top right corner. Story Blocks is built in. So with this one, right, you can get some lot of. Uh, Sound effect, there you go. You want sound effects? They have it in there. So click on that, tap on that. And basically, is they have a lot of, there's, there's a few free one, uh, there's, there's a few paid one. So, but you get the idea, right? Let's, let's play one. Uh, This phrase that you can use whatever you can cut there and you can use it. Okay, you, you use only all, all that part. Whoosh, that's all you need. Right? Okay, just open my, up my uh, sound effect library. So, there's a bird trimming, so I just go out on, on, on the, like, right here. To my balcony right here, next to me, out here. And basically, I uh, just, you know, point the Shotgun mic to whatever way the bird is, is singing on the tree, and that's it. I have it. Let me have a look. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and it's it's raw wave format, but you can do a lot of editing. But that's a, that's give you a rough background kind of a mirror. Yeah? ambience noise if you want to. Let's go to how do we edit sounds, okay? The most common one is the YouTube button, right? Uh, let's click 
okay the, the most thing you want to do is have the uh, YouTube button and you click on it so let me quickly mouse click uh, so I have a look so this is mouse click okay now you can edit uh, audio like you would do with your movie or your video so I like this part here right there right there let's play it again wait let's move in now this is simply drag it in as well but you don't drag it to the video you drag, drag it to the audio okay boom right there let me expand it out let's, just, let's play really fast Now you can't hear much and let's explain it out a little bit. Now with sound effects could be really very fast, don't have to be. Okay, let's play. Okay. Like that. Just quickly like that. Okay. Let's try another one. So it's uh this one here. Coin is tossing in the hand, so let's play. So this one I have is a uh, coin just tossing like that, you know, rocking like that in the hands, so let's play So you do your edit first, right? But you want to do some, something more, so this right now is like it's too, too soft Let's emphasis so increase this, the volume a little bit right there so you can really, really, really notice it yeah, Let's play Okay, play that again so you know but the sound effect is part of the mix okay so now with sound effect is a way to capture people attention okay let me find the bell so, so usually with the um, the YouTube uh, subscribe button and the bell ring the bell right let me try to play this okay something simple like that that has to be too dramatic three seconds long increase the uh, duration a little bit just the volume I mean so let's play Okay. It's not a bell, it's a uh, gong kind of thing. So couldn't they could not find anything, yeah, at home for that. So but that's an effect that you can yeah, disrupt people's attention. Use use sound effect to disrupt people's attention. That's what I mean, right? So the the boop boop sound before is add something new dimension to your mix, to your storytelling. In movie, they, they actually have a different apartment just to do audio, to do sound effects. Okay, so that's why we pay a lot of money just to go and see a, a good movie, right? They have good video, good audio, good mixing, or good editing. Oscar Nye, they have yeah, awards for sound effect guys as well. So audio mixing, all those kind of guys, they part of the industry. So. But as a solo entrepreneur, like YouTube entrepreneur, we have to do everything, okay? But you don't have to go crazy and have your different kind of mix. They will take too long to pump out your your YouTube video. Just have something, you know, that, that you regularly use, like the YouTube button, common 10 effects that you like to use, put into a folder. My name is Travis Chow, uh, I'm a time lapse nut. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I create this kind of content for you guys. Keep our relationship going by subscribing to my channel. Okay, I'll see you next time with another tutorial.